Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over how you can create groups on Moodle and how you can create certain assignments to assign to those groups. So the first step that you have to do is actually create the groups that you're looking to create. And to do that you want to go into your Moodle course that you are interested in creating groups in, clicking the gear in the upper right hand corner and then clicking on more. Once you have gotten to this point you want to click on users and then select groups. So creating groups is actually very simple. To do so you just would click here where it says create group and you can name the group whatever you like. So for this tutorial I'm just going to name them group A, group B, and group C. In this case we're not going to add anything special here. We're just going to keep it as group A and press save changes. And then I'm going to create two other groups, one group B and one group C. I'm going to save that. And one more, we're going to do create group, group C. So now that we've added our groups here, we want to add the participants to those particular groups. So here under add remove users, you're going to go ahead and click on that button and you want to bring the students from your course into the group that they belong to. So here we're just going to select the first two and add them into the first group click back to groups and then we're going to click on group B and we want to add remove users there and I'm just going to click on the next two and then lastly I'm going to go into click on group C and click on add remove users and bring over the last person that goes into that group click back to groups and now we have successfully created the groups for this Moodle class so now that we've created our groups we want to create the assignments and assign those assignments to each group so if we go back to our main Moodle page here I have some papers that I've already created so I'm going to go into those settings and just edit this from there but if you were creating a new assignment you could also get to where I'm about to go in this video as well so I want to turn my editing button on and I want to go into the settings of the assignment. In your case, if you're creating a new assignment, you would click add an activity or resource and select either the quiz or the assignment that you want to do this with. So I'm going to go into focus paper one and click on edit settings. And this takes me to the settings for this particular assignment. And what I wanna do is go all the way down until I see restrict access. So if I click add restriction, I want to add a restriction based on a group and it says group choose group A, which would mean that the only people that are allowed to access this assignment are those in group A. Now, if you don't want groups B and C to see that there is a special quiz for group A, you could then hide it by clicking on the little eyeball here. So basically what that will mean is that anybody who is in group B or group C will not be able to see the quiz for group A. This is great if you do not want your students to know that there are different versions of whatever you're giving them. So to the students, it'll all look like the same assignment, but you will know that it's assigned to different groups. So we're going to click save and return to course. And then I want to do the same thing and for focus paper four, and I'm going to go into the settings here and click on the restrict access tab here at the bottom and add a restriction by group saying that group B is the one that's going to be taking this class. And I want to click on the little I here to restrict access for groups A and C. So we're going to save and return to course. And now I'm going to show you what it would look like if somebody from group A came into the class to look at their assignment. So let's remember that group A was doing focus paper one and group B was assigned to focus paper four. I'm going to log in as one of those students now. So I'm logged in now as a student who is in group A and you can see that I'm seeing focus paper one which was what I assigned to group A but focus paper four is not visible to this particular student because they aren't in group B. As you can see, it's very easy for you to create groups and it's easy for you to assign those groups to specific assignments. And now you can have different versions of whatever you want to give them, but the students will not know that there are different assignments.